Got the video going? Yep, it's going. So we're talking with Je Jeff Smith here, creator of Bone. Uh, so big announcement in San Diego, more yeah. more Bone happening through Scholastic. So um, the first announcement was for Bone Tall Tales. What can you tell us about about that book? About Bone Tall Tales. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, ever since we began this process of colorizing the Bone books for Scholastic, um, there were a couple of uh, side projects that were Bone related that I've really been looking forward to getting uh, brought back into the canon, so to speak. And one of them, it was a, a story about the founder of Boneville. His name was Big Johnson Bone, frontier hero. And uh, we did, I did a story with a friend of mine, Tom Stagoski, who wrote it, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And it was a funny story, but it's been kind of lost and forgotten. So I've really been looking forward to colorizing it and updating it. And that's what we've done. We've built tall tales around this old uh, crazy tall tale story. Uh, and the new story will have bookends. It'll have Smiley Bone and Bartleby are gonna be scout leaders. And they're gonna take a little troop of three uh, bone scouts uh, camping and around the fire, Smiley and Bartleby will tell tall tales. Uh, some of them will be about Phone Bone and Phony Bone, Tales from the Valley, uh, the, and and the main one, of course, will be this frontier story of Big Johnson Bone. So it'll, we'll be finding out a little bit more of the 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 history of of Boneville. Uh, oh yeah, yes. We'll, we'll we'll learn we'll learn a few more tall tales. We'll, we'll also find out, you know, the story of Big Johnson Bone when he was a baby. Uh, when he was a baby, his, his the wind, uh, the winter winds blew the cabin doors open, and Old Man Winter s took Big Johnson Bone right out of the midwife's arms the minute he was born, and blew him out into the wilderness because Old Man Winter was threatened by um, the birth of this this crazy Big Johnson Bone baby. Uh, but Big Johnson Bone pretty much beats the heck out of Old Man Winter, and that's why we have spring. Great, um, and so t you're working with Tom on um, some uh, a new trilogy uh, called Quest for the Spark. Um, yeah, 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 what can you tell yeah, yeah. us about about that? Well, I can tell you that uh, it's going to be very different, uh, unlike the other project I just described, which is a graphic novel. Uh, Tom is going to be doing just a novel, a series of three bone stories with different bones like a new generation of characters that are going to go find their way into the valley. But they're novels. Uh, I'll be doing, a, you know, full color illustrations for them. Uh, and they're very funny. Uh, but they're, they're a little bit different. But I think people are going to like it. Because even though it's not actually a sequel to my comic, it's going to be fun to see some of the characters again, like the rat creatures and maybe even rock jaw. <laughs> and, and what was it like having having Tom sort of, you know, take, carry the torch and, and to sort of continue the, uh, you know, the stories of uh, the characters and uh, from, from Boneville. Well, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that big of a stretch because Tom had, and I had worked together on uh, the Big Johnson Bone stories. And, he, and he's, he's, like, he's even done another story um, that was called Rivulet that was just the two stupid rat creatures. And he understands the characters really well and he's really funny and I wasn't worried about it at all. Cool. And so now you have a new book uh, that uh, just came out in stores uh, about a week ago, yeah. which is Rose. Rose. Um, so what can you tell us about about the Bone prequel, Rose? Well, I can tell you, when I got on the plane to come here yesterday, I I was told that it just debuted on the New York Times bestsellers list. So oh, wow. I'm very excited about that. Uh, Rose is the story of Grandma Ben when she was like a, a young woman. She was like 16 years old, and it was her first uh, real adventure with the dragon. And it kind of kind of sets into motion some of the uh, events that take place in, in the Bone novel. So it's a, it's a prequel. Right. A prequel. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. You're welcome, and, Scott. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we will see you at the signing. All right. Take care. Thanks, everybody.